okay so sanam uh, let me again thank you for our weekly interaction thank you sir okay sanam today i have two uh, very relevant points to discuss with you and they both are related yes. to german admissions one is uh, okay. related to open phd position in germany so i want yes, you to sir. tell us how some student can find open phd position in germany and what do we mean by open phd position yes sir so thank you sir um so i will continue with the question only um so when we say about open phd positions we say that um, open phd positions where you don't need to worry about funding and it is already taken care of whether by a university or maybe by your professor or your guide but one thing that i will say is just um cold emailing to the professors and get yourself accepted via emails for phd is a good criteria mm -hmm. so that is the ultimate solution because their uh, professor itself will you know uh, like uh, in initiate the process of uh, funding and everything you don't need to bother about it mm -hmm. so professors have funding from universities and uh, different organizations and mm -hmm. they keep on looking for students all over the world mm -hmm. so this is how it proceeds Hmm. So when we say open PhD position, does that mean there is something like closed PhD position also, or do we have some another name? So the closed PhD, I mean clo closed funded, uh, are the same as uh, you go to a professor, he will or he or she will accept you, and then you may probably you know find funding by yourself, or maybe you have already got funding from a government organization, or maybe some uh, organization or your uh, company maybe. They mm -hmm. then they will easily consider you. Mm -hmm. so, so is there like any kind that. of advantage, uh, Sanam, in open PhD positions? Yes, sir. I mean, um, advantage is of course there because uh, you know your thesis uh, will be uh, will be subject specific, and okay. you will develop uh, expertise in the domain itself, where mm -hmm. uh, you know company is actually looking for the funding provider is actually looking for. Mm -hmm. So let's say if funding in uh, X Y Z university is for artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. and uh, they want a student for the same research area, right? Explainable mm -hmm. artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. So they will, they will, they are investing on you for three four years, and then mm -hmm. uh, sooner they will hire you uh, for uh, their purpose. So it can be an organization or it can be a university abroad. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and uh, yeah. scholarship wise, also they both are same, huh? Yes, I mean, uh, in close funded. Uh, uh... Uh, you uh, you can take funding from anywhere. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, whatever you want. I mean, mm -hmm. in close funded, but open funded is like a uh, professor specific. Okay. And one thing I want to add here is like once the professor agrees that you are fit for the role and candidature, they will ask you to you know uh, share your transcripts and documents over email. So okay. once uh, uh, so every professor has a HR department. Like every professor has one HR, and mm -hmm. HR will be handling all the logistics. So mm -hmm. he or she will ask you to email the university and get the confirmation letter from mm -hmm. the letterhead. Actually, mm -hmm. so once you have the letterhead, uh, you can for Germany specifically, you can go to Dart and say mm -hmm. that uh, you are you have the letterhead, mm -hmm. and uh, you have a confirmation letter from uh, confirmation letter and email. From mm -hmm. the university and the professor both, so okay. Dad will you know collaborate accordingly. Okay, mm, wonderful. Now, now uh, my second question uh, for this interaction today is something related to PhD in India and PhD in Germany. You know there are yes, different perceptions. The moment you are in India and doing PhD, so and the way it is being done, perception is different. And the, when you go abroad, let's say in Germany, then it is different. So. Uh, yes, sir. Question to you is, uh, what uh, what is the difference uh, uh, in doing PhD from countries like India and from Germany? What difference do you find? Yes, sir. So uh, I will not uh, say that uh, you know payment or logistics and all funding and all everything is more in Germany because that is of course everyone knows, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, here we are going to talk about something different. Like PhD in Germany is for three years long. but you may get funding for 4 years and vice versa it depends on the availability hmm. so equal focus on experimentation and theoretical analysis in research is done in uh, you know in germany hmm. so in in i mean i am not uh, like telling specifically about india but uh, in germany they they provide equal uh, distribution in their phd curriculum for hmm. experimentation as well as for the theoretical approaches that you build Mm -hmm. so your guide will give you full freedom to you know explore
nearby research areas in the same domain so let's say you are a machine learning student and mm. uh, your research proposal is in adversarial machine learning mm. by which you got selected as well so mm. because you would be proposing in your research proposal as well right mm. so so this is how like but you find something interesting in like in another domain while while you know pursuing mm. pg so mm. you you will be having that much freedom so to explore that area and mm. uh, pursue it for future mm. so they provide something that, that means flexibility is more yes yes okay sanam related one question i want to ask you if you uh, have answer for that you may share with us like yeah. uh, uh, i have heard that the moment you go for phd abroad and suppose after 2 3 years you are you change your mood you don't want to complete phd in india what happens is it is very difficult to convert that phd into ms uh, yes in conditions may professor may allow it but normally it is not done yeah what is the situation yeah. in mm-hmm. germany like if i enroll myself in phd and after two yes. years i realize no i don't want to do phd no but let me take some degree or some ms and get into job market mm, yeah so at first place they will only consider for phd if you are having a masters degree so that is the criteria but uh, let's say you you are already completed uh, mtech in india mm. we are assuming that and mm. you go abroad for a phd in uh, german university so what happens is like they will you know uh, if if you are if you have completed two years and when it is left they will pause it and uh, you will be uh, like you know uh, you will be open or you will be given freedom to look for uh, uh, opportunities other than phd or academia mm. so and if you don't find you can continue of course your rest of the year with phd but there are some criteria like uh, you have to publish some uh, some research documents mean meanwhile mm-hmm. so there are some criteria for that okay and yes of course course work is also to be done course work mm-hmm. also has to be done yeah mm-hmm. so if if i ask you to compare india and germany phd so duration wise you find the same right no sir uh, duration wise germany is less uh, okay. though in books everyone says that in india if you have completed masters it will be 3 years but uh, government itself provide funding for 5 years right mm-hmm. in india in iits at least mm-hmm. so that, it's like that mm-hmm. so that means Uh, duration it is less and uh, i have uh, heard that in europe uh, p phd is advertised as a job you are given the benefit yes exactly right. exactly and yes you are given good. equal opportunities as job yes mm-hmm. so it's like a, a, i mean a, a, something called as semester ticket travel allowances uh, you know are considered as student benefit but at the same time you pay taxes and considered a salary earning person in a pay scale of german taxation system right mm-hmm. and which will further help you to get permanent residency because once you pay taxes for 3 years you will be given pr uh, initially you are a student yeah i keep on telling students also no that if you get opportunity explore opportunities abroad yes, because yes. Uh, you know you get to meet different people exposure is more uh, and uh, yeah. maybe life facilities may be same but uh, you know there availability is one criteria i mean uh, like yeah. facilities like uh, scanning electron microscope and all there uh, i mean those kind of facilities are easily available and yeah even even uh, you know students go for joining the conferences or presenting some paper mm-hmm. or going to attend any conference If people i mean universities will easily approve the funding i mean mm-hmm. it's not a big deal for universities there mm-hmm. those are the benefits mm-hmm. and yes. i think then sanam we ended up here only so as we have already discussed that every week will pop up and with very yes. short duration videos will make and only to the point relevant discussion will do so these two things yes. uh, i discussed with you today and they were very very relevant for students one is how to yes, find sir. open phd position what do we mean by that and what difference do we find between phd india abroad so sanam what is the yes. agenda for next uh, interaction so i think uh, we can uh, now start with the uh, like with the recommendations and suggestions for mail body to the professor okay. so there's to so that students who are watching our series you know can kick start their uh, mail to the professors yes. and get some approvals yeah because he, uh, today also i have seen that one student has got uh, you know selection in us university in phd within mm-hmm. very yes. short duration of the time so mailing professor can really prove helpful uh, yes. mailing professor or connecting with them on linkedin and all so these can exactly. be very very helpful okay sanam yes. so let me thank you once again and i'll catch you next week again thank you